Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. Yeah, so cabbage seed pod weevil traditionally is found south of Highway 1 in Alberta and then across into Saskatchewan, but not all the way to, to the Manitoba border. And it's been slowly working its way north. Uh, we're here in Lacombe. There are no cabbage seed pod weevil in Lacombe. We've done some sweeping. We still don't find them here. But we have found cabbage seed pod weevil as far north as Olds on, along the Highway 2 corridor. Um, as far as hot spots, uh, generally uh, just all the canola growing areas south of Highway 1. So as far as time of day, uh, cabbage seed pod weevil hang out in the canola clusters, the buds. So during, during the uh, morning is just as good as the afternoon as far for cabbage seed pod weevil. Um, the morning with the dew on is terrible to sweep, so we don't really like to sweep canola when it's heavy dew. So we'll stay away from mornings a little bit, but other than that, we don't really have a preference for time of day. Um, stage of crop, uh, we're looking at a crop here that's uh, just nicely into bolting. That's nearly ideal um, to, to do your initial looks. Um, some guys are going a little bit earlier, and we're a little scared that by going too early, you may end up having to spray twice, which is not an ideal situation. Ideally, uh, we're uh, about 10% flower. Uh, we've seen some guys go in with a fungicide application in combination with the, uh, with the insecticide. It may be a touch on the early side for, for sclerotinia control uh, at 10%. Um, the really critical fact is um, you don't want pods more than three quarters of an inch because that's where the weevils will start laying eggs. So, so if you get in with your spray operation before the first pods get the three quarters of an inch, you'll get the maximum benefit. The other thing is we have seen a synergistic effect with uh, suppression of populations of ligus if we don't get too early with our cabbage seed pod weevil control. Uh, this spring has been uh, a particularly challenging one and uh, we've had some frost damage that uh, people are attributing to actually cabbage seed pod weevil feeding. And if you want to straighten out the two, cabbage seed pod weevil will make a definite notch or hole into the flower bud where frost it, it will look intact but it will be either brown, yellow or black, sometimes even white. Um, but with cabbage seed pod weevil, there will always be a hole if they have caused that flower or that bud abortion. So um, uh, we've had people spraying thinking that it's cabbage seed pod weevil damage, where the most likely thing is probably that it was a, as a, as a low temperature or frost damage. So for threshold, uh, we're using 20 to 25 per 10 sweeps or 2 to 2.5 per sweep. Um, uh, as, as the absolute low end uh, and then we've been seeing this year we've been seeing sweeps up with five six per sweep so way way over threshold so uh, that's an easy decision I would not push the threshold any further than two per sweep <laughs>